Panasonic have recently announced three new lightweight and portable 4K 60p capable fixed lens camcorders. We've got the AGCX10, which is the flagship model. Middle of the road, we've got the HCX2000, and then the entry level model, the HCX1500. In this video, I'll walk you through the key specs and how those models differ. The body of each of the three cameras are pretty much the same. On the entry level unit, the X1500, the top handle that houses the XLR audio connections and controls, along with the small LED light, isn't included with the camera. It's an optional extra. And unlike the other two models, this camera also doesn't have a 3G SDI output. The X2000 and the CX10 are pretty much identical, other than the CX10 comes with an Ethernet adapter and is NDI capable, and can also record in P2 MXF. Now the first thing you'll notice about these cameras is just how small they actually are. Now Panasonic are claiming that these are the world's smallest fixed lens camcorders capable of recording 4K at 60 frames a second. And they also boast one of the longest actual record times. Off that single battery, you can get around four and a half hours of record time. In front of the one 2.5 inch BSI sensor is a Leica 24 times optical zoom f1.8 to f4 lens, which at its widest is the equivalent to 25 millimeters. Having a lens that wide with that amount of zoom range is very impressive for a camera of this class. Getting steady shots handheld should be nice and easy thanks to the 5 axis hybrid optical image stabilization. And on the barrel of the lens, we've got two manual control rings, a dial below, and just behind a three step ND filter selector. So you really can operate these cameras manually with confidence. Around the body, you'll find plenty of physical controls, including five user configurable buttons. So you really can set this camera up to how you prefer to shoot. To the rear of the camera is a tiltable 1.5 million dot viewfinder, and on the side, a flip out 3.5 inch LCD screen which at 2.76 million dots is a rather high resolution display for this type of camera. That screen can also rotate 270 degrees to make it easier for filming at awkward angles and also make it easier when you're filming yourself. It is also touchscreen, which makes jumping around the menu straightforward, but also allows for using touch autofocus. Speaking of which, all three cameras use Panasonic's high precision autofocus system, bringing along face detection and subject tracking with color recognition. For recording media, the cameras have dual SDXC card slots, allowing for unlimited relay recording, simultaneous recording for an instant backup, and what we call background recording, where one card will continuously keep recording the shots, and the other card will only record when you start and stop the record button. So if you think that you've missed the moment, you know in one card you've got it recorded. So let's talk about the recording capabilities of these cameras. Now they all use the Venus engine, which is the same processing engine that's found in the Panasonic Lumix S1H, which of course is a very powerful 6K mirrorless camera. So with that engine comes some impressive recording specs. They can all record in 4K up to 30 frames a second in 10-bit 422. If you go to 60 frames a second, then it will drop down to 10-bit 420. If you want 422 at 60 frames a second, then you will need to use an external recorder, such as a Blackmagic Video Assist connected through that HDMI cable. If you drop down to HD, then you can record super slow motion continuously at up to 120 frames a second, again in 10 bit. And a nice feature is that the autofocus will still work. To help capture as much dynamic range as possible, in the menu system, there's the inclusion of some cine style pitch profiles, similar to the options that you get on the Lumix range. When it comes to audio, the CX10 and the X2000 can record in 24 bit linear PCM. Again, something you don't often get with cameras of this class. The CX10 additionally supports the broadcast oriented P2 MXF file format, including AVC Intra 100 and AVC Intra 50, which will both come with a later firmware update. All models have a built in Wi Fi module that allows for wireless control when you're using the app. But more notably, what you can actually do is stream directly to the likes of YouTube and Facebook right from the camera without any need for additional hardware, which is pretty impressive. Now the CX10, you do also get a adapter that gives you a hardwired ethernet connection, and you can also upgrade it so that it's fully NDI capable. So if you've got an NDI studio or any sort of infrastructure in place, maybe you've got a Wirecast system, then this will simply integrate right to that system without any additional hardware. Some other points worth mentioning are that you've got a lot of the professional monitoring tools that you'd expect to see, such as waveform, vectorscope, zebras and peaking in that menu system for you to use. 
And these cameras also have the ability for shooting in infrared, as that filter can be switched on and off by a user button. So to sum up, I think these cameras are gonna be really well suited to news gathering, live event work, live sports, anywhere where you really need a lightweight and portable camera package with a long zoom range. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit that like button, hopefully follow, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, pop them below and we'll get back to you. If you want any more information, check out the links in the description. You can find out more there. Thanks for watching.